Good morning. I know it's been a hot minute since we posted a video here on this channel, but we haven't been flying uh, actually for over a month now. Uh, we've been trying to find an airplane and an instructor uh, to get some regular instruction here uh, around my area, but I am so excited this morning to tell you that um, we've worked out a bunch of details. Uh, we have uh, hooked up with an airplane owner who has a wonderful condition uh, 1966 Cessna 172G that we're going to take up this morning. And I found a great instructor too. His name is Ty. So we're super excited to get started on our uh, road to our private pilot. Let's get this airplane out of the hangar and get in the sky. Fairmont Traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima is taking runway 5 for a uh, eastbound departure, Fairmont. Good. So it will be a right turn for us. We won't turn out until we're above pattern altitude of 2000. We'll okay. fly straight out to 2000. Yep. Uh, just kind of use most uh, of the runway. Right yeah, yeah, in this case, it is a little shorter. Clarksburg, I wouldn't mind, but all right, go ahead and start with her. Yep, lots of right brake. All right, Ready? drop your heels to the floor. Once you get her centered, there you go. Full power. Full power. Just ease her up like you're doing. Perfect rate. Add it on up. Good. All right, just hold that in alive. Good. Coming up on 60, looking yep, outside, yep. watching the center line. Yeah. Looking good. There it is. Just ease it and hold it right. What you got? Just let her set right there. Oh, a little more. There we go. A little right rudder. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Yeah. So looking at the runway to determine how much rudder we need. Roger. Yep, and just pitch it. And now trim it for 85. So you're having to hold a little nose yeah, up, right? Yeah, yeah. So trim it, a little Come nose up. Down. Yep, a little more. Yeah. Feeling good? Yeah, feeling real good. Good. There it is. 85. Simple enough. Let's go ahead and take some load off the generator. Let's flip it down to just one light. There we go. I didn't know there was that was a thing. Okay. Yeah. So it's a split switch. You can got gotcha. turn one of the two on or just or both of them. So obviously we got some towers here. Yeah, I see. We'll just kind of split them and fly straight ahead. There's my hazard alert about the towers. Yeah. Looking good, 85, keeping the wings level. Right on the runway heading still. Plenty of right rudder, maybe just a fuzz board. Here's what I found in these airplanes. If you kind of like find where the rudder needs to be, yeah. is it centered over there? Looks pretty good. Uh, the parallax yeah, yeah, is kind of yeah, yeah, different yeah. from right, right here. Right. Just kind of now drive your heel down on the floor and just lock your foot in. Uh, and I it'll see. just kind of stay there. Now if you turn and stuff, it'll change, but. Sure. Good, now let's keep her, make sure you keep it, at least keep your hand on the throttle. Yeah, okay. It backs out as you fly, that kind of thing. Roger. I right, got this tower here, yeah. and after that, we're clear. Good. Yeah, we'll save our turns until we get above 2,000. This old girl, she, yeah. Uh, <laughs> she didn't like to climb too good, but that's yeah. okay. She climbed way better than this uh, with Jay and I. Really? Yeah. We were getting a lot more than this. Okay. I don't know what the differences are today. I don't know either. Maybe a little tailwind, because I feel like we're flying faster than 85. I obviously would have zero gauge of that. Yeah, you'll you'll you'll, you'll develop it pretty quickly though. They're not uh, like a car, you know, after a while. We've got a little haze over to the left, but that's a big storm coming in. Uh, we're close enough to 2000. I think we can make a turn to the East, and if you just want to say that, Fairmont traffic, 5-2 Lima is departing the pattern to the east. Fairmont traffic, Sky 3852 uh, Lima departing the traffic to the east, 2000, Fairmont. Good. Just keep the climb coming. We'll go up 3,500 or so. And we'll go over here and let you maneuver around. Good. Nice standard rate. That works, or you can go up to 20 to 30 degrees, or should you desire. It's completely up How to you. How far east do you want to go here? Uh, we'll go out five miles or so. I'm sorry, uh, directionally. Uh, right, oh, that's fine. 150, 120, 150, anywhere in that gap. If you go, actually, go if you go direct east, it's not quite as east as it, what I'm thinking in my mind. I'm thinking east of 79, and you can see I it agree. running here. Is that, are we trying to stay out of Clarksburg's uh, Yeah, approach? it's way down there. We got plenty of room from them. Uh, I just kind of picked this is one of our practice areas for the school, and you can see where we are yeah. in terms of 
distance from Clarksburg. We're a good, solid 10 miles away. And there's some good, later on, once we start doing ground reference maneuvers, there, there's some nice uh, things out here. We're up and away. We can do a little climb checklist. I don't know if this has one in it. It does, I think, on the inside pages there. Okay. All right, so uh, airspeed, 85 knots. Power's full, mixture's rich, and that's it. So, I want to add one more. You can turn your taxi line off. Yeah. Okay. Good. Feel free to maneuver out through here. Uh, you're not restricted to staying to this heading or anything. Just you can kind of play around, see where that fog bank is. Yeah. We'll just kind of we can work our way that way, actually, if you want. To the right. Yep. To the right. Good. And now. As you're adding turns, see that rudder, step it just a little more. And it's little not more that much, just a fuzz right there. You feel it come back into line? Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. What I was going to say, you know, visually, for me, like a VY climb at 85. Yeah. If we, I'll take the airplane for a second. Your controls. Yeah, my controls. So, so setting the metal of my cow, I don't know how this looks for you. Yeah. Got this little, see this little layer right here? Uh-huh. You can still see through it, so it's not cloud, but... If if you set the metal from about this perspective on the on the horizon, you just look, does it look like your cow's right on top of the horizon? Uh, mine's a little under it. Yeah. So just take a picture of that in your mind. Yeah. You can see we're getting an 80 knot climb, which is a little slow. So if we come below below that, about right there, it'll give us about an 85 knot climb. Okay. All right. So you can have your controls back. Just as a All visual nice. representation of what's going on. Gotcha. 500 more feet, we'll be up here out of the way. I wonder why it's well, I don't know. We're getting a good RPM. Everything's normal here, performance-wise, weight-wise. I don't know if we were. Uh, we were full of fuel. Were you? Yeah, I don't know. Huh? Maybe he climbed out a little steeper than 85. Yep, he's even got it at 400 feet per minute. We're getting. Yeah, it's close, closer like that. to that. But really, it's I'm pretty really typical of these down. older airplanes, though. Oh, it is. oh, okay. It was just a screensaver. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. We're getting close within 100 feet here. Yep. So just let it keep it coming. You don't have that much of a climb rate going. You'll catch it pretty quick. And while we're doing this, we'll do a couple of clearing turns. So you know what a clearing turn is? Ish. So you're clearing the area before you do a maneuver. Yeah. So we like to go up to a high bank angle, 30 degrees or more. Okay. Typically 30 is what works best. And we'll do a couple of 90 degree turns or a 180. Do we I'm just going to do a 180. Do we want to go ahead and pull the power back? Some yeah, let, me, let your speed build. So just let the nose down a little bit and kind of feed some nose down trim in as you do. That way you're not climbing up. So fly it at the altitude with your hand. Yeah. Yep. And then just feed that trim in to relieve any pressure. Yep, a little more. See, so it's still barely climbing. A little more. And as you speed up, you're going to have to keep adding that trim right, because trim is based on speed. Understood. Yeah. Good. Now we're getting closer to cruise speed. We can pull it back to about 2,200 RPM or so. Yep, to see you're on back. Good. All right, let's go ahead and start making a turn. We're getting close to Clarksburg here. All right, to the left. Yeah, either way, your choice. We'll go ahead and just pull it on back. Good. That's good right there. Just lock it in. Great. And here we are. About 30 degrees of bank, looking around for other play people. Got a little descent going, which is fine, because we gained a little altitude there. So you'll probably have to add more nose up trim now, Roger, because we took some power out. So trim is kind of like related to airspeed and power. There's no kind of, it is related to airspeed and power. Looking for other people. I'm not seeing anyone. No. Nope. Maintaining altitude, very nice. Got some wispy little stuff going on here.
kind of poopy out west. Yeah. Alright, let's stop it there. Let's actually turn face back over this way. We'll just kind of keep paralleling Fairmont's runway. We'll just work our way back and forth. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. How's that rudder? More feels still. good. Do you feel it in your seat? Yeah. So, give a little too much rudder. I want you to feel what it feels like. You feel that? Side, side into yeah. your seat? Yeah. That's what you don't want to feel. Okay. Alright, just face out through here. Have it. Let's watch your out to get that nose up just a fuzz. Alright, let's climb it back up. Add a little power to climb it back up. Good right there. But it's whole an easterly heading. That's good right there. Just roll the wings level, keep that nose up. Good. Might have to add some nose up trim because we got slow. You can add full power if you need to to climb it up. At this, you know, at the climb rate this thing gives us, we're about half to. If that helps any. Alright, good. So you want to do steep turns first or you want to do slow flight? Whatever you want. All right. Let's, let's, choice. let's do slow flight because we you know, we've kind of been looking forward to that and it'd be fun to do. All right. So with slow flight, our goal is to fly the airplane slow. Seems so the first things to do is pull the power. And anytime we're under 2100, let's go ahead and just turn the car heat on. So go ahead and just turn it on. You can have it on above 2100. It's just going to reduce the power output that you get, which is fine because we're going to reduce slow flight. Right. So reduce the power. They're good right there. And then we're inside the wide arc. Yeah. So maintain 90 knots and 3,500. Just kind of peek outside, see what that's giving us. And it's looking about right. Yep. We've turned a little bit, so just keep on the heading we're on. And let's put 10 degrees of flaps in. I'm not used to this one, so we'll see how long we have to count. 1, 1,000, 2, 2 1,000. One so about, about 2, 1,000. Yep. And you feel a little pitch up yep, and so the speed dripping off. That's what we want. Yep. Just leave the power where it's at. You're maintaining altitude good. Maintain the heading good. Let's do it again. Let's put the second notch. 20. Good right there. That's good. Airspeed's coming on down further. Yeah. Good. And we're going to try and maintain about oh, 065 miles per hour. Okay. All right. We'll put the third notch in, maintain an altitude still. So it's real short on this plane. It is real fast. Yeah. And then the dreaded 40. So I want you to add a little power. But the now we're getting to what we call the region of reverse, reverse command. We pitch for airspeed and we power for our altitude. Roger. So you're on about 65 right now, right? Close uh, to a little above it? A little above, a little All above. All right, so in order to get to it, you would pitch up. But just go ahead and add some power first. That's good. Let's go full 40 degrees of flaps. I want, this thing's going to be a rock. So let's look outside see that we're turning. Little right rudder, lots of right rudder actually. Slow flight, more, lots of torque, right? Okay. P factor. That's 60. Yep, so let the nose down a little bit. Yep, and put that full flap in. Feel it? Yeah. Alright, we're all the way there, and now That's add some 60. power. Let's do 60 then. That's working out pretty nice. So keep it right at 60. Good. Add some power up. Dude, we're descending slightly. Yep, yeah. keep adding the power. Yep. Should we turn car beat off? Nope. I have to, actually, if we yeah, want to get some. Okay. Can't get well, that's okay. It's probably because we got the 40 degrees flaps on. Any of these things are dogs. Two o'clock. Same altitude. Is it calling our own traffic out at us here? Yeah, it probably was. Okay. Yeah, that's us. That's a false. Good. So we're at 50. 50. All right. We'll just see what gives us a full throttle then. That is full throttle. Go ahead and take the car beat off. We'll see if that'll help us out. Since we are pretty high throttle. Are we throttle. turning intentionally here? Well, we, it's fine that we are, but not intentionally. Uh, this is going to work out a little better. We're at uh, yeah, it's helping 60 us. knots. Yeah. So now I want you to trim for 60. <laughs> yeah, thank God, because I'm... Uh, All right, anytime that you have pressure, you can trim for it. Yep, now let's find something off the nose and fly to. See this big white building to our right in front of us here? Yeah, yeah. Let's just fly that. Okay. I'm trying to watch this. I can't really tell what's going on. It's pretty hazy over through there. We got some build ups a little bit. So yep. That's good. Awesome. Now give me a left turn to 210. 21? Yeah, about 10. To 15 degrees of bank at most. Yeah, not steep. much in this. They're uh, in slow flight. And we're out of power, so we just kind of do what we can. Might take a little bank out to maintain altitude. Because as you turn bank in, you lose vertical lift and you're right. going to horizontal lift. Yeah. 
So, looking good, just pitch it up just a little. Good. Alright, roll out here on 210. Right rudder as you roll out. Yep, perfect. Great. You see that right away right in front of us? I do. We'll use that as how we're, you know, tracking. So, we're going to go into the power off stall. Okay. So, recovery on power off stall. Normally, the car beats on. So, we're going to reduce the power here. And when you do, I want you to pull the car beat on. Okay. So, uh, and then we're going to be looking for a 500 foot per minute descent. That's 60 knots or so. Okay. Once we retain that, we're going to start slowly pitching up and pulling the power to idle. And then we're going to induce a power off stall. Getting into the stall is not the problem. The, the whole goal is to learn how to recover from it. So it's going to kind of come kind of quick. You're going to feel a little bit in your stomach. Nothing to concern yourself of. The thing will fly again. It's a 172. They're made for it. So what I want you to think about is your recovery. You're going to have a lot of back stick and a lot of pressure in to do it. Okay. You're going to go full throttle, and then the car beat's going to go off when you feel the stall break. So immediately full throttle, car feet off, and you're going to come up to 20 degrees of flaps. I want you to count to four instead of actually doing okay. that. So just one, two, three, four, a quick four, and then stop your flaps. And you're going to feel it like, you know, break. When it breaks, just release a little pressure. Yeah, not a whole lot. Jam just, don't jam it, right. just release. Right. So it's not even a movement. I say pressures. So release some pressure in your hand. Gotcha. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's pull the power out and turn the car heat on. Other you can do, yeah, either, you can do right. car feet first. That'll reduce the power for you. Good. All right, we'll pull the power out. How far? All the way. All the way out. Pretty much. Initially, just kind of about, not 1,800 initially. There we go. We're descending at 500 feet per minute almost, yep. 60 knots. Looking yep. good. Find something off the nose, kind of that cloud bank will work. Yep. All right, go ahead and close the throttle and start pitching the airplane up to make it stall. So keep pulling. It's going to get real heavy, so pull, pull, pull. All right, pull it. You feel I'm having a whole lot of weight. Keep yeah. it coming. Keep that nose coming up, on up. It's going to have to be above the horizon, otherwise it won't stall. You're going to have to add lots of right rudder when you hit. There it is, stall horn. Okay. Here comes the stall. You ready? Yep. Keep pulling. Feel it getting heavy? Yep. There it is. That's it. So full power immediately. Car heat off. And then count to four on the flaps. One. Four. All right, keep the nose up. Yep, and I want you to set that nose right about where we had it on the climb. Okay. There, that was it. That wasn't an aggressive stall, but right. did you feel it kind of buff it a little it. bit? Yep. So we'll do another one here. Get back up to 35. Yep, so the next well, to recovery would be positive rate, flaps up to 10 degrees, so you can take two more seconds out. Good, you feel that drop? Yep. So Keep make sure, that, yep, just give it more pressure, and if you have to trim for it, you're probably going to have to, because it's trim for cruise, not right. what we're doing. Right. Good. All right, and then last little bit of flaps up with a positive rate. Good. All right. All right, let's do a 180. And just keep that little climb coming. You can go left or right, your choice. I'll go left. Yep, good. We'll clear the area again. But just to give you perspective of where we are, Valley Falls is right over here. Oh, uh, okay. Back that way a little ways. That's uh, Grafton Lakes down through there. Do you have weather on this? I do. Supposedly. I've not actually messed a whole lot with it. Okay. I just wanted to see if we can what? see these storms. I was not paying attention to direction. That's okay. Somewhere, uh... Gotta be around here somewhere. Yeah, keep going to the left, about a 330 or so. Yeah, this fog is kind of getting thicker as the clouds are moving in. Let's roll it right there, that'll work. Good. All right, let's set it up again. So just pull that power back, turn the car beat on. Don't worry about going into slow flight. I just want you to dump all the flaps in. This is not. This is the abbreviated way to get into the stall. This is not slow flight. So go ahead and just put all 40 degrees of flaps in, above 100 knots, or below, I'm sorry, below 100 miles per hour. I have to get used to saying that. Yep, let's just watch outside. Go, go ahead. Yep, go ahead and push it down, and it's going to get real heavy. Just kind of hold the nose up. You want me to go all the way down? Yep, push my way in. Kids, we're getting into the stall. Ooh, yeah. Feel it slowing you down? Yeah. That 40 is crazy. That was quick. All right, so same deal. Yep. Just keep the power where it's at. 
And on the recovery, be a little quicker on getting your power in. Gotcha. Don't have to jam it in, but do it sooner, in, in other words. So let's pitch a nose up here. Yep, pitch, pitch, pitch. Little right rudder. See that little town right off the nose? Yeah. Use that to tell how much rudder to use. Okay. All right, keep, there's our stall horn. Keep pulling. Yep. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Here it comes. Keep pulling. Oh, we're right. You feel the stick moving? Yep. Yep, keep pulling. Nope, not yet. Keep pulling. There it is. So we're full back and we got to descend. So full power. Car beat in. Yep. And then count to two. One. Or four. Two. That's good. Two. And keep the nose up. Keep getting some climb going. Now that we have airspeed. Let's climb over this little fog thing. Good. So now we have a positive rate. Ten more degrees up. This thing didn't really break in the stall. That, yeah, it just kind of just mushes. Which I like. Yeah. It just wants to fly all the time. That's good, right? Basically, if you were to take your hand off, I guarantee you it would just pitch down and start flying again. That's just, you know, the nature of it. They're so stable. And then the last 10 degrees out. All right, so it looks like the four degree, like the four seconds is a little too long. It's taking too much flap out. So we'll count to three when, on the initial. Okay. Because it's taking it up to about 15-ish. Good. And then we'll just one second after that. Gotcha. Good. All right. That was fun. So now here's the funner one, and it tends to make these planes don't like to do them just because of how they are. We'll do a power on stall. Yeah. So it's like simulating we're departing the runway and that we are, you know, we goof off and we let the throttle creep out and we stall the thing. The goal is not to lose any altitude, right? We just took off. So let's turn back and face opposite direction south or work. Easy. Yep, little nose up, we're losing some altitude there. You can pull the power back a little bit. That's good. Coming up on it here. And we'll find something to point at, either that cloud bank will work, or fog bank rather not clouds. how fast this stuff is developing? Yeah. It's not a huge deal, but just keep an eye on it. If it starts getting any thicker, we probably should. Yeah. Because it means the humidity is rising when you start getting moisture down low like that. I see. All right, good. So in this case, I just want you to reduce the power and turn the car beat on. Reduce it. Rod. Yep. And we're going to slow to rotation speed. So yellow line. Good. Yep, just maintain 3,500, just keep us pointing, see it right away on the edge of the, yep, I'm we'll use that. Okay. And just keep us flying at that. Alright, so just hold that altitude with your pitch. And once you get, well, pull the power back a little more. Good. Once you get to yellow, you're 60. Yep. I want you to add the power to 19 and just slowly pitch it up. Okay. Kind of simultaneous, pitch and power. Yep. You're right. Don't trim it too much because when you add the power, it's going to rip, right, you know, right, rip right. way up on you. So that's good right there. Keep pulling back. Yep. Hear the wind kind of getting a little wonky over the wind wings. That yep. little. S yep. Keep pulling. I right, add it up now to 1900 RPM and start pitching up. That's good right there. This you're going to have to use a lot of right rudder, okay. and you're not going to be able to see your points. You kind of have to look out the side to see if you're turning, like twisting or not. So there's our stall horn. Yep. And this, all you have to do with this one's full power. And then slightly lower the nose, slightly. I mean, just ever so little. All right, keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep the wings level. A little left aileron. There it is, full power. And just hold it right there. That right, car beat off. Huh? That's a power on stall recovery. Well, see, we're still descending, though, even with a positive pitch attitude. Yep, looking good. I'll let a little of my pressure off. Let you hold it there. Good. All right, now lower the nose some. Good. Let's go ahead and let's do some steep turns in. Let's okay. maintain 3,500. Good. That's good power setting. Save us some fuel. We're not going to get a real fast cruise out of it. We're not looking for it. But what we are looking for is our maneuvering speed. And then this old girl is about, looks like 100 mile an hour. 85 knots or so. Okay. Yep, just feed her in there as you need it. Still climbing a little. 
That'll get our speed back once we get that out. If you look, see a big green plot kind of right over there by itself? Yeah, with a couple of white buildings. Yeah, that's the airport. That's Bridgeport. Oh. And then Clark's, or Fairmont, it's about over back there. Actually, it's right off our right wing. See those two long white strips? Yeah, the hangers. Yeah, it's the hangar tops, yeah. Easy way to spot Fairmont. Okay, looking good. Let's do another 180 so we don't get close to Clarksburg here. Okay. And I tend to do this. I just work back and forth in a little area. Yeah. That keeps us from having to re-clear an area for airplanes and that kind of thing. That's good. You're doing great. I mean, you're nailing it. Simulators are awesome. Well, they do make a difference. I. But the sensation. Once you once you get used to the sensations, you know you're they. It's uh, definitely a, a good tool to know and have. Looking good. Yep, don't let the nose down too much. Keep just feel those G's kind of let off there. Yeah. Especially in that steep of a turn, just try to keep the G's kind of set in because that lets you know that you're doing a good turn. Gotcha. Looking good. Rudder controls. Looking pretty good. We're at our 100 knots, or sorry, 100 mile an hour. It's hard to get used to. Yes, it is. Especially when I can't, you know, see the dial to read it. But right. Let's uh, add just a fuzz of power. Let's try 2300. Let's see if that gives us a little better performance in terms of this, because we're going to need it for a steep turn. So steep turns, you're going to feel some G's. We're going to be close to two G's, not quite. It's 1.6 if you do it right. Okay. And it's done at 45 degrees of bank. Up here between the 60 mark and the 30 mark, split the two. Yeah. You're going to have a lot of up elevators. So what I have guys do is when we come through 30 degrees of bank, give two big swipes of up trim. Okay. So you're going to roll in, two big swipes. You might even have to add a little power. Okay. Maybe 100 RPM or so. And where are we going to end up on the... It's a 360 degree turn. I'm sorry, in terms of the bank angle? 45. So between 60 and the 30. Split okay. between those two. Does that make sense? Yeah. I try to make it a visual maneuver as much as I can. We were kind of lacking a horizon because of the haze, yeah. but we can kind of see about where it's at. And I don't know how this plane's going to handle on it. So right. most of the time, from your side in a left turn, since you're on the low side, you're going to put the spinner where you think it's at, right on the horizon. Maybe just a fuzz above it to okay. hold altitude. And that's the goal. Maintain 3,500 and do a steep turn. All right. And if it doesn't look right right off the bat, it's okay. It's one of the harder maneuvers you're going to end up doing. So we'll use... I guess we'll just have to use a heading because there's not a whole lot to look at out here. Maybe this little house, but I don't like picking this small of an object. Yeah. So we'll use it. See this little house down in front of us? Way down. I mean, yeah. Yeah, kind of. All right. If not, see the fog bank up in front of us? Yeah. We'll use that. So when you're ready, yep. I want you to roll kind of briskly into a 45 degree bank and I want you to think about that trim coming through the 30. So go ahead okay. and start. When you're ready, we'll go to the left. We'll, we'll the do left. a 360 to north. Okay, here we go. Yep. All right, start adding some back pressure. And go one, two, now. Good, a little power. Then feel the Gs. Yep, add some pressure up, oh, climbing a little bit. That's good, perfect. Now look outside and hold what you got. And if you're not feeling Gs, something's not right. Perfect. A little more bank, just a fuzz. Awesome, and just lock what pressures you have on your hand. Yeah, hold it completely still. And if you need to change, add the change. So we're descending, just add a little power. I'm sorry, add a little back elevator. That was our wake. So here comes north, and there's our house. So I want you to roll, and there are lots of right rudder. Right there. Perfect, now you're going to have to push, because you put all that nose yeah. up trim in. Yeah, I'm pushing. You feel it? Yeah. So just do what you need to do to maintain 35. Two swipes will take it out. There you go. That was a steep turn. Nice. Two standards. You nailed it. All right. That was pretty fun. That was fun. So on your exam, you do it both directions. So you'll do a left. And you'll probably say, okay, give me one to the right now. So we'll do the exact same thing as he would. So let's go to the right. You're Just ready? leave your power where it's at. All right. Going to the right. Yep. Two okay. swipes of nose-up trim right about now. Now, this tight picture is a little different on this side. The nose is going to be a little below the horizon. See how it looks like I it's do. way below? Yes. Man, we're even climbing at that, so let the nose down. I'm also really not let steep it down. enough. I'm also not steep enough. Yeah, if you roll that bank in, it'll take it right out. There we go. Yeah. A little more bank. 
A little more bank, a little more, you're only about 30 degrees. Roll it on up. That feels about right. Three count traffic for your two feet awesome. up at the uh, a little back pressure the left the rest of the sink. Uh, and then what you got. All right, here comes our north heading. There's our little yep. fog bank. So oh, I missed it. No, you're on it, you're on it. And push. See, we can run, yep, lots of push on that rudder. You feel it? And push on this hand, yep, that's right. Yep, keep wings level. Perfect. You're better than some of my 40-hour students at doing those. Is that right? Yeah. Felt the G's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm to the point where I don't really feel it anymore. Don't worry, there's traffic, but they're 34,000 feet above us. Yeah, I mean, that's hardly nothing, <laughs> right? Traffic, traffic. That's it. That's cool. Yeah, so that's your steep turns. That's cool. If you want to do nice. some more, we can, or we can go work on some landings. I think we should go work on some landings. All right, you want to get at Bridgeport to do that, or you want to do it at Fairmont? I would like to do it at Bridgeport. All right, let's give us a turn in that direction. So head about a heading of 240. 240s? Yep, and you can pull your power back. We'll just cruise down through there. And we'll need to get the eight at some point between now and getting there. Okay. And our frequencies and stuff tuned in. We're, we're a beam Fairmont, so out of knowledge, it's eight miles from Clarksburg. We don't need to talk to approach because we're not really. We're just going to go straight to tower and kind of do it that way. Clarksburg Tower, Skyhawk 3852 Lima. We're about nine miles northeast with Quebec inbound for the option. 3852 Lima, Ident, Clarksburg Tower. Ident, Clarksburg Lima. The flash. Yep, and now we're looking for the field. I've already got it. Tell me if you got it. Got off our 11 o'clock or so. Is that it? The That's it. Going See a big way. long strip. Yep. You can't miss it. It's 8,000 foot long. Hey, we might get us straight in here. Oh, we will. Number 3852 Lima, make straight in, runway 21, runway 21, clear for option, and stay in tension. What runway is it? 21? 21, yeah. We'll make uh, straight in for runway 21, and uh, we're going to do a couple of touch and goes in the pattern for 52 Lima. And the fact that Lima, Roger, you make left close traffic, wind 2505, out to 3003. Left close traffic, 3003, 52 Lima. The fact that you already know how to talk on the radio, I just kind of take it for granted, but it's, because I fly with instrument students all the time. Oh, yeah. But you're a three-hour private pilot, this is awesome. I, uh, that's my, one of my favorite things to do, honestly. Talk on the radio, yeah. I love it too. All right, so 2200 is pattern altitude. Yep, but since we're doing a straight in, we'll just kind of work our way down. You're good where you are for, man, you can kind of work your way down a little bit. Just leave the power where it's at, unless you want to reduce it to save some fuel. It's your choice. It's all right. We got about, I don't know, we'll be there in five minutes or so at this pace. Landing lights, some point. Yeah, we're, uh, once we're on a short final. We can go ahead and just do a little descent checklist. That'll give us a good time to do it right about now. Nice that these planes fly themselves, generally. Yeah, generally. All right, mix your ridge. You can go ahead and just leave it where it's in. Just twist it in two or three times. As you descend, that's a good little habit. Every 3,000 or 1,000 feet, twist it in some. Carpet is required, so we'll get to that later. Yep. And that's the end of that. Good. So it's complete. I'm not sure if I want to let, for, I don't like using 40 degree flaps in this for every landing. Fine. 30 is where I like, it's most comfortable. We can use 40 in Fairmont, but to learn how the thing feels, Let's try 30 okay. at Bridgeport. That way, we've got plenty of runway. We don't have to worry about anything. The only thing we have to worry about is the huge, well, it's not huge, a little mountain off the end of the runway. And I like these descents better. You save fuel doing this. You know, you're, you get to your cruise altitude, and you just pull, you know, if you do it right, you don't have to pull the power back. Just let her nose down, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and get the first notch of flaps in now. We're about three miles, so one, two, good. That pull keep it on back. Down. Yep, keep her coming down. And once you're over the plateau, we'll get the second notch in. So you're slightly left the center line. So let's move over just a little bit. And we're crabbing, if you can't tell. I can tell. So keep the crab in for now. We'll have a little bit of a crosswind, maybe. Yeah. What are the winds? I did. Uh, calm. Oh, okay. Looking at our wind sock. See that second taxiway? Yeah. Right in the middle of it. I see it. Yep. It looks like it is coming from the right a little bit, but it looks pretty dead. So. Get that power out. This approach is going to freak you out how low you are below these mountains because. Alright, we're over the plateau, second notch of laps. Good. We'll just do 30. That's what we'll, we'll go ahead and decide on that now. Reduce that power all the way out. We'll just kind of glide her in from here. See we can get her down on the pappy. We're coming in pretty steep. Yep. 
There we go. And use your power to arrest the pappy. Is that Good. carb heat smell? What am I smelling? Uh, probably smoke from that fire over there. Oh. I know it seems silly, but that's... All right, here we come up on our second pappy. Get ready to start adding a little power in. There it is. Go ahead and add it. Yeah, feel it's kind of plane out toward it. Yeah. That's what you want. And then add 30 degrees of flaps and maintain about 75, 70 ish not, or miles per hour. Pitching for airspeed. Yeah, powering for altitude. Got a bird, see him? I see him. Yep. Little power. See, we're getting low. Power, power. Little power. Good right there. Lots of right aileron for whatever reason. Oop. Okay. Over on the center line. Good. Reduce the power slowly and just start pitching up. Yeah. Looking down the runway. Yeah. All right. Pull, 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 pull. Hold it. Pull. Go. It's a little flat. Feel that nose will kind of touch at the same time. Yeah. You're all okay. Right, all right, it's all right. real small. Real small. All right, Are good. we too late to go here? No, we got plenty of room. Car beat, we got 6,000 foot runway left. Ready? Yep, go ahead and add it up. Oh, watch it, bird. <laughs> right rudder. Good. So when we get to our rotation, right about now, keep your hand on the throttle. All right, there it is. Take her off. Good. So your landing was pretty smooth. It's a little, little flat. flat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the nav light's on. Good, so lay on that right rudder and keep the wings level. Going a little steeper. I'm at 80, just trying to get up over this. Uh, we got plenty of climb. We'll make it more than enough. And when we reach 18 to 1900, that's where we can start our crosswind. Yeah. And it'll be left traffic. So yeah, we keep let the nose down a little bit. There we go, right there. We're well over the mountains now. They are weird. This airport's in kind of a bowl. Yeah. I like the I like the long runway though. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. You can do touch. You can do about three touch and goes on it in one. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of my. Uh, some of my landings might need a third, a second or third. That's uh, okay. We may bounce. This a thing, few of those it feels like it likes to descent. You know what I mean? It, it, flying wise, it doesn't really like to bounce or anything. All right, we're about uh, 1,800. Good. When you're ready, we can start a left turn now. About 20 right. degrees of banking climbs is what I like in the pattern. And 30 20. in the sense, yeah. Okay. And here's the thing, we look at our runway for orientation. Yeah. Kind of hard to see. I'm sorry, what's pattern altitude? 2,200. 2,200. Yeah, Roger. keep her coming a little bit. Good, so usually 300 below, that's when I like to start my crosswind. So right about now, we're going to start rolling out with the right rudder, help you in yeah, There you go, perfect. Look at your runway, see how nice and square we are? Yes. That's what you want to see. Close enough for government work, like we said earlier. <laughs> Good. And what I like to use, guys, to help is your strut. Yeah. So use your strut as a measuring device. Okay. You want to have the runway run through about two thirds of the strut. Okay. So go ahead and start your turn about now. Is this about a good location yep. for that? Yep. Yep. And here's another way we teach guys early on. See this little lake right here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fly right over there. Five two lima one eight two one. Clear to adoption. Flip to the option, runway 21, 5 2 lima. Great. All right, you can reduce your power a little bit. About 2,300 RPM. Not looking to cook down through here. Good right there. All right, look at your runway. Don't point at it, so let's turn back. Oh, yeah. What you did is actually probably a little right. We want to fly square. Because I'm thinking about the... Ground track. That's exactly right. So look off the nose. We're pointing that way, but if you look, we're actually flying this way. Yeah. That's what you want. You actually want to fly square pattern. Based on your ground track, not off yeah, of Yeah, I'll look at it later on uh, your pile of hoy. Yeah. Uh, once I upload my plate track and see how cool. uh, how square it was. So look at your runway. Look at your strut. Does it look like it's about halfway or two thirds uh, to you? About two thirds from my seat. Okay, looks pretty good to me. Maybe just a fuzz close, but that man, that's about right. And so we do three things. So go ahead and turn your carb heat on on the downwind. That's you can just leave it there. There you go, just try not to bank toward the runway. We're getting a little yeah, too yeah. much. Corner right through there is good. I just go ahead and get the carpet out of the way. One last thing to worry about. Yeah, it's already uh, carpet pulled. Yep, and a beam the numbers will reduce the power to about 17, 1800 RPM. Roger. We will put our 10 degrees of flaps in. 
And we'll start a descent. So that's the three right, things. Power so coming out. 18. To about 18. And 10 degrees of flaps. 10 degrees of flaps. And, and then start a descent. So two or three hundred feet per minute is perfect. And you're looking at your runway, nice and square still. Yep, we're looking at about 45 degrees off my... Yeah. And then wait for your numbers to be about a 45 like you just said. <coughs> and if you do it right, it'll put you about over top of that plateau. That's how we, you know, that's one of our things we use. So that's about a 45. Go ahead and start your 30 degree bank turn. Now that you're descending, you can use more bank. I see. There's 20, there's 30. Yeah, but this is where it gets kind of weird. See how high of a bank you are, but you're close to the ground? Yeah, that's, so... A little nerving. Yeah, nerving, I, right? under, I understand the risks. Yep, so roll it out. Now we're on our base, we can go second notch flaps. And slowing, your airspeed's perfect. I, didn't, I failed to mention, so 90 on downwind descent. Okay. About 80 through here. And then on final, we'll look for 70 to 75 okay. miles per hour. And you're still powering in this point for airspeed. So if you're slow, just add a little power. Okay. It's not until final that you're pitching for airspeed, powering for glide. Roger. All right, we'll hold off on the turn. This runway is kind of elusive. Right about now, start your 30 degree bank and just look at your runway. Yep, just keep the nose down like you're doing perfect and just watch that runway and that'll tell you how much bank to use. See it? Now start rolling out, kind of rolling in a little quick. Wait on it right there. Perfect. Looks good. It looks good. On looks glide. Real good. All right. So add just a nudge of power and get the nose down some. There we go. Maybe reduce that power now. Maybe we didn't need it as much as we thought we did. There we go. So powering for our pappy. 30 and degrees. I usually wait until I'm in gliding distance for oh, my Roger. last notch. Roger. Because if we lose the engine, I'd like to be able to at least make the grass here. So we can at least make this little infield. So go ahead and put the 30 degrees of flaps in. There it is, good. Perfect. So it's focus on flaring, getting that nose up a little higher this time. Roger. Everything else is great. You're right on center line, perfect. That sight picture that you have is I'm looking off the I'm looking off the uh, engine access panel uh, Okay. Alright, drifting to the left. Yep, yep. Good. Little power. Nose down, watch your airspeed. Good. Little slow, but you're good. Alright, this is fine what pressure works. Don't chase it, let it sit right there. All right, reduce the power, to start reducing it slowly to idle and start catching it with your elevator. All right, power idle. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, pull, pull. Clark, 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 Clark. Good morning, helicopter six, five, six, Romeo, Romeo Hotel. Hotel. Uh, We're uh, at the FBO with uh, Romeo. Sorry, I'm not on the center. You're at Quebec, sir. We're Quebec, yeah. uh, Alpha, right. we'd like a left turn out to the northwest, please. Oh, birds. Engine right. still good? Yep, good. All those. So we're going to 6 minus 7 on the other side, Clark, Spring Star, wind, call my tender 3002. Present position departure will be at your own risk, and departure to the northwest is approved. Remain west of the runway at all times for traffic. All right, glad to remain west of the runway at all times. This is going to be a good one. Just at the very end, we started doing a little drift. Yeah. And this thing is acting like it needs a little ride of heel on all the time, so maybe just kind of. Hold a little pressure against it as you're coming down, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. your neutral is not this, it's going to be more along those lines. Roger. And, you know, every airplane is going to have its little quirks like that. Sure. In a perfect world, right? Exactly. Very good. Awesome. Yeah. I think this is going to work great. I'm totally digging the way you instruct. Oh, well, I'm glad you're... This feels uh, very natural to me. Well, that's good. I try to be thorough. I know I talk a lot, but that's if good. I'm not instructing, uh, you know, I don't feel like I'm doing my job. All right. So. I got the 7 Romeo Hotel. Put clear to bed. Roger, put clear to bed. 7 Romeo Hotel. Do we got time? Do you want to go back after this one? Yeah, I'll go back after this one. Does that work for you? Yeah, it's great. I'll give you four landings and three in Bridgeport. We're at 8.30, that gives me time to get us a little fuel and get stuff put away. And I don't know if I'm going to Cincinnati today or not. I don't know if I want to. Yeah. Looking at this right, I'm going to start my, uh, start my crosswind here. Yeah, sorry, I'm normally not on the phone, but no, you're doing do so do, good. Buddy. I just want to take a quick peek at my overall weather out through there.
just leave it, when you're doing pattern work, you just leave it full rich all the time? Yeah. Yep, so you actually want to use full rich at high power settings to keep the engine cool. Roger. Yep, so there you go, looking outside, looking good. There's a runway squared off right about there. This is a, a little easier distance, if you will. See, that's it's kind of more along the lines, maybe a little far, but not too bad. Looking good. Set 5-2 lane, runway 213, the option. Clear for the option, uh, 3852 Lima. Runway 21. Bad, I guess I yes. said, but you know what to say. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. I, don't have, I correct instrument students about, say, the flipping runway. You know, guys that's got 100 hours and still. Yeah, clear for takeoff. <laughs> Or if they say clear for departure. Man, I yeah. got I to stop with my uh, death grip here. Oh, are you death uh, gripping? Yeah, I'm, I just realized that my fingers, my knuckles were They're like... white knuckling? Uh, yeah. So I got a, I got a little thing that'll help you with that. Yeah. Put a pencil in there. Ah, uh, good idea. If you grip it too hard, you'll break it. Good or idea. Or bend it at least. All right, let's see if I can remember all these steps in order. Yep, so carb heat first. Carb heat and then power to like uh, 1800. Good. And the first notch of flaps. That's right. And then start a descent. It's key to start the descent because if you don't, and it's going to naturally. You right. reduce the power. That's why I reduce the power first. Because if you put flaps in, it's going to climb for a second. Right. So if you reduce the power first, you're taking away all the juice that's making us go forward. Roger. Right? You're 90 miles per hour. Perfect. And it just sets us up for that pretty nicely. But uh, the point of that, if you don't start descending, you're going to lose a lot of airspeed, and it's going to be your high out here, and it's going to throw the rest of your pattern off. Gotcha. So right about now, roll into a 30 degree bank. Power helicopter is on the old power. Oh, see you in round than you do. Check out the seven we have to the Thank you for your exchange period. Have a good day. Roger. Thank you, sir. And, you know, not to be morbid or, like, pessimist, but in situations like, maybe turn a little more into the runway. See, we got that wind. Look out your nose. See, oh, we're yeah, getting pushed. Yeah. So aim to the left of UHC. Right about there, work. Always looking for an out. Like right now, if we were losing engine, that's where we'd go, right? Oh my and, God. And that'd, be, that'd be questionable. <laughs> oh, we could do it. 40 degrees, drop this bad boy in. <laughs> but, yeah. like I said, not to be morbid or uh, yeah, pessimistic, we just kind of have to think that way. Always Absolutely. looking for the out. Sorry to talk, but now it's uh, flaps two time on the base. So you can go get those in right quick. Good, right there. Awesome. A little high so you can reduce the power and go ahead and roll into that 30 bank. A little, might have been a little early, I told you, so just watch your runway. I there see you it, go. I see it. Yep, let's go ahead and get her down some more. Good on airspeed. Yeah, we're at 80 knots. Perfect. Low into about 75, 70 ish here. So we'll try to, let's try to maintain red line down to the runway a little better. Uh, I don't necessarily like having it that fast because you float forever when you do that. So we're way high, right? Just yeah. Four hour power all the way out. You get your third notch of flaps in. We'll glide from here. Yep. And just let her come down onto the glide. Pitching for that airspeed of 75 to 70. And I like to give windows. I don't like giving specific numbers. Yeah, cause sure. All right, we're drifting to the right. All so right. a little left aileron just for a second. Now back to the right to catch it. Add the power up now, we're on glide. Just a little crack of power, a little more. A little more. Good right there. And now, let's just focus on staying over the center line. We've got a little left crosswind, so... What we have to do in that case is a right rudder. Yeah. Yep, yeah, see it lining the runway up? Yeah, yeah. Power to idle. Slowly, yeah, don't ever yank it. You'll fall quicker than you think. A little left aileron, and then pitch, pitch, pitch. Hold. Not too hard, a little balloon. So let's go around. Good for go around practice, so go full power. For lots of right rudder, carb heat off. And then take 10 degrees of flaps out. So count the two. Two, that's good. And then that's your go around. Okay. Keep your hand on the throttle if you can. Good. And it may me, keep me over the center line. Awesome. All right. Keep your nose up a little bit. You get the positive rate. It's just like a star recovery. It's identical. Yeah. So positive rate, you can take can 10 more. The other? That's good right there. And what was you saying? No, that's it. I was going to ask about 10 more. Yeah. Well, I want to get my climb going, because if you take that out without a climb, you'll just sink right back down Roger. the runway. You want to just go to Fairmont at this point? Yeah, but we'll do that, and I'll give you three landings. And go ahead and go flaps up. Okay. Yeah, since he cleared us for the option, we're not required to say going around. I see. Now, if he says, cleared, cleared to, to land, land, you need to be saying I'm going around. 
But you can just go ahead and tell him you'd like to depart the pattern back toward Fairmont. And uh, Clarksburg Tower 385 to Lima, we'd like to depart the tower towards Fairmont at this time. And let's go to Lima, right turn out of proof. I wish we were there. Right turn, 385 to Lima, thanks. But not yet, huh? Do you want to be, how far above the ground do you want to be before about we 18, start? we're good. 17's a little low, but I'd like, I'd like to be at 18. Well, let's get to 18 then. That's kind of my 400 feet, that's my, you know, my, my ceiling. I, I don't like going much lower than that, because, you know, you lose something, you put yourself in a bad situation, turning and... Roger, we'll report clear the Delta. Roger, we'll report clear the Delta, 3852 Lima. Back to, that's just awesome. Back to you talk on the radio, and this your, what, fourth flight, third flight? Fourth. Fourth? Yeah. Well, we're up to uh, 1.2 now, so looking like a 1.3, 1.4 flight. And all that time that you're taxiing on the ground, that counts. Yeah, right, right. That's good. Uh, that is good. And, you know, some guys who were a little slower, I'd say, no, that's bad. You're not going to meet your 40 mark because you're going to run out of time. But you're already doing so well, I'm not really having to, you know, concern myself too much. That was cool. I'm glad I got to feel the, uh, feel that float and ground effect. Yeah, I had not it's, actually, it's a, I had not actually floated before. Yeah. So just if you, just a, it, it's, flaring is an art. You learn exactly how much the airplane needs because you're trading off that lift and airspeed. And you're learning, okay, if I trade off too much airspeed for lift, I'm going to fly again. And that's not what we want. Right. Nice on a perfect right down wind and just follow 79. So you can see straight and then. Yeah, uh, I see it. See NASA? Yeah. Good. And because we're going to be set up for a nice downwind for 2-3 up there, that's what we'll plan on doing. Perfect. And because the winds are picking up a touch. Where is uh, where's the tower at Clarksburg? Oh, right here. See this big square building? Yes, sir. Oh, I see. Right beside Just it. Yep. That. So that's Bombardier. I'm sure you hear a lot about yeah. them. They, see those two big white tents? Yes, sir. Off of the end? That extends their building so they can get three more airplanes in. Uh -huh. Well, that blocks the whole ramp's view for the tower, and they hate it. All right, we can just, right here's 26, 27, don't have to get too high. But you can pull the, once you get up to about 100 mile an hour or so, you can pull the power back. We decided 23-ish was a good Yeah, 22, 23, that's usually what it is normally. Great, man. I hope you're enjoying it, because oh, it's I a am. blast. I am. I know there's a lot of stuff to take in in these first few flights. I, I got to work on my camera workflow, because the back one's not recording anymore. This one's battery's dead. Maybe this one's still recording. Cool. And I don't know about out there, but I've got to solve my workflow situation here. Well, I'll give you that key when we get back. That way you can just. I'll take you up on your offer to use your GoPros too if okay. you want during yeah. these flights, because you're you're going to be in all these videos. I literally am going to have one for every single lesson. Uh, I'm going to follow the whole teaching That's process. That's awesome. Well, You'll my, become a internet, mild internet celebrity. There we go. I hope that my <laughs> teaching processes don't spark up the the trolls online. Cause I hate that. But you know, you're always gonna have exactly. it. Exactly. You can't. I mean. All right. So we don't have GPS. We got your thing. But and I'll show you. See, there's a car lot again. Yeah. Just beyond that. See those apartments out to the right of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. That's huh? the very edge of that. So when you cross past those, you say, hey, we're clear of the Delta. Okay. And then pretty much as soon as you do that, we're going to call Fairmont traffic because we're getting pretty close already, right? Roger. So yep. it'll be about a six-mile call. Five miles. Yeah, we will. So we'll set up over here for and enter exactly. the downwind over here. For two, three. So I can kind of come a little bit to the right to yep. kind of be ready for that. But see, so you see a little white strobe light. Kind of hard to see. It's right off the nose. Flash. Flash. Uh -huh. To the right of NASA. I see NASA. Yeah, straight off the nose, pretty much. Maybe a little right in the nose now. And I don't see it's it. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, so the airport's right behind that. Okay. I believe. If it's not there, it's over to the right a little more. It's kind of hard to spot at first, because that plateau at Whitehall... You can go and call him, tell him you're clear. <coughs> but, my, uh, but my plane is still in the line on my... Uh, We're clearing. Plane. There we go. <laughs> And Tower Sky 3852 Lima, clear the Delta. Sky 3852 Lima, Clarkson Tower, Roger, thanks. Thanks. 